What is up guys and gals? Peace, love, and happiness to you all. Welcome back to another video of mine. I am that hippie with harmony, Mojo Daddy Mystic. And it's good to see you guys again. It's Woodstock weekend, everybody. I had to put a video out uh, one of these three days. It is to the 50th anniversary of the Woodstock Music and Arts Fair back in 1969. Today is August 16th, 2019. And it, today would have been the second day, but uh, it's uh, definitely a celebration for all the hippies out there. Uh, you know who you are. But uh, I just wanted to take this time to kind of discuss uh, a little bit about um, what the festival means to me and uh, you know uh, the impact it had on me so uh, for those of you who don't know um, the Woodstock Music and Arts Fair uh, kind of came together kind of haphazardly uh, Joel Roseman and uh, John Roberts uh, were the two uh, producers behind this along with um, Michael Lang and Artie Kornfeld. These four gentlemen um, kind of came together and um, I believe the idea was Michael Lang's uh, at first to put on a sort of um, mini um, just a mini fair and it would just be um, small, a small little get together with no more than a thousand people and uh, he he would uh, have the idea to book bands like Dylan and uh, I believe that was it just but just to get Bob Dylan because he lived in uh, Woodstock New York at the time so that was their main um, attraction but uh, some 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 way somehow this um, this idea ballooned into what we now know as the uh, phenomenon that Woodstock is is known today and um, I first uh, when I first saw the the uh, Woodstock of the movie uh, my mind was blown man it was it was everything that I've always wanted to to um, to everything I always wanted to to aspire to just to have that festival experience and it was it just looked so fun I mean every band that that I listen to Sands the Doors um, and the Beatles of course everybody who was everybody was there and it was just I was just my mind was my mind would my it would, took my breath away from the who, from the from uh, from uh, who else played Santana, Janis Joplin, of course this guy here, Jen, Jimi Hendrix, but uh, even lesser known lesser known acts like uh, you know Burt Summer and Tim Harden um, and Richie Havens. The first time I ever heard of Richie Havens was uh, his performance at Woodstock, and if you haven't seen his uh, his whole set. Just take a look at it. Um, I think you can look it up on YouTube. It's uh, his when he sings the song "Freedom." It just blows your mind. But uh, you know, Woodstock isn't just about the music. It's about the um, the idea of uh, you know coming together. You know, this concert was supposed to be uh, was they were supposed to sell tickets, but uh, they didn't have uh, they didn't have enough time to put up fences, so it w wound up being a free concert. And I think once they made that announcement that it was a free concert, I think everybody just relaxed and started to started to just enjoy uh, just enjoy the scene, and you know no violence. No, 
um, no, you know, crime or anything like that. It was just a massive, it was just like, it was a, the best word, way I can describe it was a utopia. Three days of absolute utopia. And I wish I had a time machine so I can go back to those times because it's a lot different these days. But uh, I just, you know, I actually have the Woodstock DVD and I'm going to uh, pop it in right after I'm done talking with you all. But um, just, uh, just a really special event. And, um, you know, I really wish we could go back to those times, but I don't think we ever, we we ever can it's it's a once in a lifetime once in a generation kind of deal there and um man i'm gonna tell you what if i was if i if i if, well i think i was born in the wrong generation but man what i wouldn't give to go back and just to be in that crowd and to see you know santana do soul sacrifice and just be right in with him, cheering with Country Joe while he's singing the the fish t the fish the fish chant. But uh, you know, it was it, it did its thing, and you know, times change. But uh, today we're celebrating the festival and the event 50 years ago today. So. We are going to take a listen to one of the bands that played at Woodstock and one of my personal favorite bands, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And Young. I think he actually played at the festival but didn't want to be recorded. Uh, I don't think there's any known um, footage of Neil Young at Woodstock, but I think he was at Woodstock, to my knowledge. But we are going to listen to... The, the probably the oh, I wouldn't want to say it's one of their better known tracks, but one of my personal favorites, "Long Time Gone" by Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Um, great band, great, great band. Um, what else can I say? I mean, David Crosby. He also has a documentary out called Remember My Name that you guys should check out. But uh, we're going to listen to this song, Long Time Gone, and we're just going to vibe out. Three, two, one, let's vibe. Long Time Gone.
just gonna stop real quick. Um, just a quick side note: this, the if you, for those of you that don't know, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, first their first, I think their they had one more, but their second performance ever, ever in history was at Woodstock. Was the Woodstock Festival? Just a little um, side note for you. Most of you probably know that, but for those that don't. The second time they ever sang together as a group, those harmonies, was at Woodstock. So a lot of Im important cultural um, moments happened during the festival. So um, that's pretty cool, I think, continuing here. Like the way it just ends like that but yeah long time gone i hope you guys enjoyed that so it's such a groovy song such a chill song and if you haven't seen the movie it's the perfect intro for the movie just setting the scene as it slowly builds up and it shows all the landscape and the stage being set up and everything i think that just captures the 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 calm before the storm of you know um uh, a, a simple farm being turned into a, a rock arena if you could if you want to say it like that but god bless uh csn god bless max yasger for putting on that letting you know letting everybody come to his farm and and uh you know essentially destroying it because his fields were uh max yasger's the farmer who owned the you know the um the field at woodstock was uh was was at so after the festival his fields had to be destroyed but you know like he said um it, it was for a good cause it was for he did the right thing and you know three days of peace and music was uh what uh was promised and it was certainly delivered so um yeah that's all i got guys pretty much um let me know how i did in the comments and uh let me know how you're celebrating uh, Woodstock. If you have a you know particular band from the '60s that you like, uh, you know, maybe give a give a listen to one of their songs. But um, yeah, it was just a really special time, and uh, you know, I hope we can go back to those days somehow, someday. But I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you're doing well. Peace until I see you next time.